Tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! <laughs> This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Butcher! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Nice punch there by Lee. Rockham shot him out of the shoot here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Checks that leg kick. Just missed on the front kick there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big punch land through the middle. Right back in the oh, Nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Nice 
Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Leg kick. is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Just over three minutes now to go. Out of range with that kick attempt. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Look at him drive his chin into the whole body with that body. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Oh! Attempts the front kick there. Oh, that right hand is on point. There's no tell on that leg kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, he hurt a bad with the jab. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Changes his stance. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. And they separate. What a tricky head kick. a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want it. And they separate. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Nice straight one. 15 seconds. One nice kick there by Lee. All right, let us now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starts to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top now that he's got, a, he's got him set up the way he wants it. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, big punch lands. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Landed the right hand there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 
What a body kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. There's no give on that leg kick. And they separate. Pretty good right hand. Nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Beautiful elbow over the top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Big kick land. Right hand on point. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Back and forth we go here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Misses with that punch. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Oh, big elbow. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Able to check that kick as well. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He's, he's limping them. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. All right, round three coming up next. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round, and how about the cut on that eyebrow? Oh, man, that's hard to look at, even for me. It's gotten really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to call the doctor in here, and if it gets any worse, you got to think they have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Well, he 
Just continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big head kick. Vicious combo there. Kicks here, but just out of range. Lands with the knee to the body. Right punches there. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Out of range with that one. Nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it back at the right time. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Misses with the straight right. Now connects with a right. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big kick land. Got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Left hand punch to the clinch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. This guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard. Every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. Boy, Thai Flump. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end of this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Superman punch lands! Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. His misses are entertaining. Nice head kick. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Big power shot there. Big body kick lands. Lee gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Final seconds here. Ooh, what a head kick. That's 
Three the rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in the row. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Great punch. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Unable to connect with a right hook. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Yeah, he fixed it all up. How about that shin? Ooh, what a punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Right on the button. Some nice back and forth action here. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Blocks that strike. And that one certainly found the target. Another one. Yep. Up and left hand. Potentially a critical takedown here. Found the target with that left hand. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Come on, let's go, let's go, finish this, guys, come on. Great punch landing with so much power. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big kick land. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you get one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. It's hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. What a punch. Nice defense there, huge block. Ooh. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to strike.
string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that he's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. That's a big strike right there. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. 15 seconds. Well, that's a good right hand. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Nice punch there. Way to hide that leg. Just misses with the straight left hand. Real sneaky body kick. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Head kick there blocked by Lee. Nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Nice loop of punch. Oh, big head kick. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with his thing. Beautiful kick. How good is that right hand? Big leg kick land. Oh, big left hand there. Went inside on that leg kick. Dude, jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Trying to kick the leg out. Big leg kick land. Uh -oh. I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, single collar tie here. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Back and forth we go. Relax, relax. Just misses there with the left. Big head kick. Lee's hook shot blocked though by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. That one snuck in. Nice strike. for certain the finish could come at any time. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Nice kick there by Lee. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. 
Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. And they separate. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Nice kick. One minute to go in the fight. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the way. Nice leg kick. Beautiful body. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. A full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this side kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 48 47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Butcher. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate the fight, the standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant